So your task 10 requirement, this is a continuation about customer relationship management. So remember, we talked about chatbots and setting up live chat. But now instead of live chat, we're actually going to set up a chatbot using a third party. So your requirements. So your requirement are these. Um, you're going to have a Facebook page, and then you need to have access to that so that you can manipulate your Facebook Messenger. You're going to set up a many chat account. And it's not mentioned here, but later on, you're going to connect HubSpot with your ManyChat. All right. So I'm going to show a quick presentation. This is actually my presentation for tonight for a webinar that I'm going to do with Miss Janet. I'm just going to show you some slides since it's related to the topic right now. So what are some use cases on chatbots? We've heard of chatbots. I'm sure we've interacted with some chatbots on Facebook. So these are some examples. You have Happy Socks. They did a campaign during Christmas and they used a gift chatbot. So the gift chatbot was used to give a recommendation. For example, you're looking for a sock recommendation for a guy that you like. Tapos yung ano yung mga hilig. So they built a chatbot around that so that the chatbot will recommend a possible product that you might be able to buy as a gift for that person. So they built a gift chatbot, and then they ran a general awareness ad campaign. They used ads. It's a targeted campaign, and then at the end of it, they had great profit from that campaign. So that's one use case of a chatbot, to create a recommendation engine so that it's specifically going to show products that can be gifted to people. A second use case is a startup or a project that, that I am involved in. So this is an active project. It's made by uh, my partner developer and me. So if you would access bloodlife.ph, it's also via chatbot. We made it as a blood matching platform to connect people who are looking for blood with those who can donate blood. So what it does is that when you open the chatbot, it will ask if you are willing to donate or you're looking for blood. So based on that, it will ask you some questions, whether what blood type you are, or if you're looking for blood, what your location is. So what we did to promote blood life is we ran a content campaign, we joined events and competitions, and then we advocated. Right? So this is an active project, especially right now, with the high cases of dengue, you can use blood life in case you're looking for blood. This is an active project. and. How we did that was through a chatbot. Next example is one of our clients, City Savings Bank. Um, they have a separate page called Talk to Maria. And when you access Talk to Maria, it, uh, it is a customer service chatbot. And the purpose is to either gain new clients by showing what the requirements are for a specific product that they have. For example, they have a product like motorcycle loan or salary loan for teachers. So depending on which product you're interested in, that customer chatbot will give you options to push you down the funnel and convert you into a customer or a client for City Savings. So what they did to promote it is they ran ad campaigns, redirect the users, target them, so that they will go to the page, they will use the chatbot, and then they tried improving offers. The way to do that is to try and see which offers are working, which one can still be improved, and of course the result is profit. Right. Those are example screenshots of the Talk to Maria. Right. So they said that using chatbots on Messenger, these are actually custom codes, meaning to say they built it specifically with an AI uh, recommendation engine or AI code in mind so that when someone messages the Facebook page it does something that's specific which is all these examples but there is a way to install chatbots so that you don't have to do heavy coding and that is through third-party tools so these are some examples of how um, what they said are, are uses of chatbot and messenger so they said that by next year you are more likely to have a conversation with what?
with chatbots. More than your bay, more than your uyabs, and more than your asawas, mas magstorya na daw ka with chatbots. In fact, we installed chatbot on one of our pages, Island Rendezvous. It's an accommodation based in Sikihor. And what happened were that was that people are so interested with chatbots that they play with chatbots. So meaning to say, kita sila sa ad, but then they were playing with it. They were adding very weird replies. Some of them are very lewd replies. They were playing, totally playing with the chatbot because they're interested and they're um, curious about how chatbots work. Now, you as a business owner, as a service provider to clients and MSMEs, you can install chatbots and you can do that via third-party tools. So an, an example of a third-party tool is ChatFuel. So you can Google this one and try to install it. It's very much uh, one of the top chatbot recommendation or chatbot system. It's a bot building system. And most businesses or some businesses actually use this. Okay, so these are sample screenshot of chat fuel. For our class, we are going to use ManyChat. It's the same, it's a messenger bot building platform. But aside from being just a bot, it has features that can support marketing or even sales. So it has a builder which can allow you to give bot a specific instruction and then it will give a reply. So that's what we're going to actually explore now. So how do you do that? Okay. Um, the first thing that you have to have in order to do this exercise, your task 10, is to have a Facebook page. So do you have a Facebook page? Right, so uh, hopefully you have access to that. And what I'm going to do now is to try and install ManyChat on our 13th page. Um, I've installed the chatbot on our Island Rendezvous page. I've installed it on my flarecastro.com. If you visit those pages, we actually have a chatbot there. And I've used ChatFuel, I've used ManyChat on those pages, but I haven't installed it on 30 Media because I don't want people playing with the bot. Some people are really curious, Jud, like they add weird messages. Yeah, kapoy siya reply. So I tried to not install chatbot. But for this example, let's do that. Let's install a chatbot on our page at 13. So what you're going to do next as part of the requirement is, is initially you have to create saved messages or replies. Why? Because even if you don't have a messenger, if you don't have a chatbot yet, um, those replies can still be used whenever people message you. So um, how you're going to do that is you're going to see here every time someone inquires, like our current promos right now, we have a webinar. And some people also inquire if we have hiring. So those are probably some of the replies that I, say, I should save replies for. So how to do that is um, you look for that here. So there's an insert saved reply. And there are templates provided by Facebook. But you can create your own, which is here. Manage replies. So after clicking manage reply, you can create a reply. So my reply title, for example, hiring or openings, job openings. So what am I going to say here? Um, Hi, please check our current job openings on this page. So ideally, what you need to make um, replies for are your FAQs. What are FAQs? Anyone know what an FAQ is? It's a frequently asked question. So try to think of your products and services and your MSME. Try to see what their top questions would be. If you are a customer, what would be your top question? So in our case, since we do services, some people ask for careers, like what openings do you have? So we have openings for either SEO manager, PPC, WordPress developer. So I want people to be able to look at this page on our website if they ask questions. So again, going back to my saved reply, I'm going to say something like, hey, hi, please check our current job openings on this page. And that's a very standard templated reply. And 
if you are satisfied then you can already click save right you can also add personalization you see here what does personalization mean if you want the bot to say something like the first name of the person so like hi nem that's your facebook page or facebook profile so hi nem please check our current job openings on this uh you are on our website na lang, on our website thank you thank you and looking forward to your application real time na jud ni magamit na mo ni siya okay so you can see that all the saved replies are here and later on if i want to reply to let's say this person no, he's asking for, uh, wait, let me make another reply na lang since applicable siya. So I'll make another reply. I'm gonna go to manage replies. Current trainings. Hi, blank. First name. What are the other personalization here? First name of sender, recipient, Facebook page link, website. Just gonna go back. So, hi, please check our current trainings that you can view here. So, we have that on WooCommerce. We're also using WooCommerce here. We have it under shop. Let me load that up. So we have trainings here with currently with Miss Janet. Ito, no webinar. So I'm gonna add the link to that page. Looking forward to seeing you in class. Okay. Thank you. So I'm gonna save that as a standard reply. And then if someone messages me, like this guy is looking for trainings, say caught. I'm gonna use the standard reply and say something like automatic na siya kita ka. So it says hi caught. And then I'm gonna hit send. So what this does is that it saves you time. You don't have to type again and again what your replies would be, especially if you have a huge volume of inquiries on your page. At least you have replies ready. So that's part of your task to create saved replies. Um, some example of questions that you need to save a reply for is like, how can I order? You, you create a saved reply for this. How much do you charge for shipping? And then maybe you can add something like, what is your website? Yeah, you click it, the one that I showed you. You click the reply. But at least the reply is already canned. It's ready. Uh, all right, so now I have my replies ready. My Facebook Messenger for this page, 30 Media, is ready to go. So where do I go next? You go to manychat.com. And um, currently, I already have an account. So let me try to log out. And you can see how to log in. Okay. So my account, I already have an existing one. Um, for you guys, you will need to create an account here, right? You see that? So I'll just log out na lang para makita. Okay, this is many chat. Ayun. And you can get started for free. You click this one, get started for free. Um, since I have an account, I will click sign in instead. Yeah. Currently, I have an existing bot here. So it will ask you to sign in with Facebook. Later on, you will need to add your MSME as, a, as an admin or user. So I will sign in using my Facebook. Of course, it makes sense that they ask for a sign in with Facebook because you need to integrate it. That's why I asked you guys to have an admin access to the page, not just editor, not just account manager or something but you have to have an admin because you need to install a third party app and it needs administrative access so this one i already have an existing bot at island rendezvous 
So I'm gonna show you what it looks like because you will need to install it also. Um, your live chat, I have this up on the, the page and the website of Island Rendezvous. So if you guys want to go to Sikihor, you can check this out. This is my mom's business. Okay, so you, you see this one, the lower right hand side, this part? This is already a customized chat bot. And um, this is installed via ManyChat. It has a plugin, it has a code, it gives you a code, and then you will install it on your WordPress. So now you will see this one here at the lower right hand side, um, a chat bot, so that you can interact with the owners of the page or the business. So since um, I'm going to set up one for 30 media, I'm going to click add new page. Right, so I'm going to look for 30 media. So be careful, especially when you're managing a lot of pages. Be careful what you're interacting with. Okay, so I click 30 media. That's the page that I want to create a chat bot for. So it will create all these um, automatically give you a dashboard. So yung dashboard mo, you can see how many subscribers. Of course, I just installed it, so it's going to be zero. All right? So that's the first tab. You have a dashboard. And then later on, you're going to see audience from people who interacted with your page. And then you're going to see the live chat here. Like people asking questions. You have growth tools. <coughs> which you can install a pop-up bar for your uh, a bar for your website or a pop-up or a landing page. Uh, ManyChat also has a broadcast feature, meaning to say if you want to announce something to all of your audience, you can click new broadcast. And then the automation settings, which means you can add default questions like ask for a quote, view job openings. Um, you can set that up under automation. You can set up a default reply, what they're going to say, like this one. So then, now I just realized that I actually enabled ManyChat last time. Because I see it here. Meron akong default replies. And then I have a welcome message, this one. I have keywords. Okay. So if someone says, hello, hi, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, I'm going to send a reply, like, hi there. <laughs> And then I have sequences. These are default ones. For a pro version, you have rule. I think many chat costs like fifteen dollars per month. And then chat fuel is ten if you're going to do a pro account. But of course, they have a free version, which is this one, what we're using. And then you can set up flows, opt-in messages, sequences, welcome. Pwede kayo mag-explore later. Under settings. Um, let's go back to the task requirement. So it says many chat add MSME as an admin user. So I guess you can go to settings. Where do we find that? Email. Users. Okay. So I'm the only user here. If I want to add an admin, especially in your case where you want to add your client as an admin of the chatbot. So it says here, click admin and then generate a link. So this link, this is what you will give to your admin or to your MSME. Give it to them and then they will see something like an invitation to become a user. So they themselves will need to access the chatbot using their Facebook account. Okay, so let's skip that part because I'm not inviting anyone. In your case, you need to send that to them. Okay, right, so after adding your MSME, what's the next requirement? Turn on notifications on settings. So let's see settings and then notification. Okay, so my email for notifications, I'm going to use my Yahoo account. Subscriber reports, I'm going to do it daily so that in case someone subscribes to my chatbot, I get the... Uh, I get a notification. And then live chat, if someone wants to talk to me on the page, I also get notified. And then after that, uh, you click update, right? So fill this up and add it on your screenshots. Next, it says, configure to install a template and customize it. 
I think in my case I don't need a template anymore but in your case let's see let's try to explore what the templates are so click templates now if you are a restaurant meron ba tayong restaurant dito wala na automotive you can use this template real estate coffee shop professional services later on if you're going to do your freelancer account your um yeah for your freelancer account you will use the professional template in our case i think we can use e-commerce for your msme your client so if you click that um it's gonna ask you for a free and pro version i'm gonna click free version just to test so what does it look like? Um, your template, you need to install it and follow the follow the instructions here. In my case, since we're professional services, I'm going to choose the professional services. In your case, do e-commerce. Right? So going back, I'm going to choose professional services. Again, in your case, use e-commerce. So I'm going to choose the free version. So it says here that the content of the template includes a main menu, welcome, default. It has keywords ready. It even has a hairstylist. So I think si, si yon? Yeah. Irish will be able to use this one, professional services. And then it has flows ready, um, a default reply. If someone thumbs up, meron kang uh, reply already, hairstylist. I can remove this later. And then you can click install. So choose which page I will install it on the third team page. Since I already have existing ones, I'm not going to replace that. In your case, you can do replace. So merge tag. I'm going to skip that part. Main menu, welcome, keywords. All right, and then install now. Okay. Let's set up new template. All right, continue. Salon. It's actually for a salon. So I will skip this one, but I think Irish will be able to use it. And for the others, try the e-commerce. And let's see if meron pa tayong kulang. It's... All right. So you will set up, once you install either e-commerce or professional services, set up the widget. Check your automation if the replies are correct your growth tool, set it up, and then how do you install the code on the website? So let's go to that. Um, I skipped settings, uh, I mean, I skipped templates na no. So you can try and explore that later. Let's see how we can integrate it on the website. I think, where do we go? Integrations. So it has integration to Google Sheets, Shopify. Uh, take note of this one because you will connect it with the HubSpot later. Okay. Send batayo sa settings. Now me pause. Again. All right. Let's do that again. So settings, growth tools, and then you input the site where you want the chatbot to show up. So let me add ours 13.org. So now it added this one to the authority list. Let me go back to growth tools. So under growth tools, I think this is where you do the pop-up. Hold on, let me go back to Island Ring. How did I add this? This is this is actually the place where you set up the widget. This one, this part. Okay, this one, customizing the widget. So on customizing the widget, you can check like send to messenger. This is what it would look like if mag pop up siya. And then it shows the description. You can change the colors. 
from here. Like, you want the background to be blue, black, you want it to be large, button text. You can change it kung ano yung gusto mong call to action. This is what we said about call to action. So, there's multiple ones. Right? And then you click next. My background chat, thank you for reading or thank you message. Weird. Opt in actions. And then you can click set up. So, meaning to say, if you click this one, this landing page, it's gonna show what you set up dun sa widget. Did we publish this one? Hindi siya nag-load. Let me go back na lang. So while you're waiting na lang, kasi I'm trying to see why this is not popping up. New growth tools, and then click on customer chat. And then click on click on setup. You can install it on your page using install the JavaScript site. Choose the color. Just okay if you want to match it with your website like this. I would prefer using red because it's like a match gray. But green is our color. Meeting message of mobile and desktop, so I prefer showing it on desktop only. <clears throat> I want to hide it on this page so that they are focused. So hide it on this page. I want to show it on the home page. So show only on this page. Pick that. And then choose this. Leading message. So guys, tanaw sa mo, okay, they changed some growth tools. So, the goal here is to install your chat, di ba, on the website. So, you do that using widget. And then, click new growth tools. So, limited na daw. I'm gonna use the existing one. And what I chose here was the um, custom chat. Let me delete this para makita ninyo. So you do that again, new growth tools, and do you see these options? It will show you different options on how you want it to look on your website. So for us, we want to choose customer chat. Okay, so you click customer chat, and then you can edit the name from here, or you can edit what it looks like. It looks a bit complicated, no? Okay, very technical siya. But you can leave it as is, as is and then go back to set up. So from here, for example, I want to show this chat on the home page only. So I'm going to 
show it on third team only. I'm gonna change the color to green because that's our brand color. And then I'm gonna change the message to hi there. What can we help you with? Same with the we're gonna change it to hello. And then I want to show this with desktop only. <laughs> And then open chat window on desktop but not mobile. So do you see this install JavaScript? That's what you will click. And then make sure that your website is authorized on this list. So you add your website, including the www. And then click install. You're going to see this code. And this is what you will add on the head. So copy. I'm going to log in the WordPress of our account. So... This is our WordPress. I'm going to install that code on the head. So let me see where to add that. <coughs> Loading. Right. So advanced, I'm going to add it here beside the... This is the Google Analytics header. So I'm going to add that also there. This is the many chat script okay so it's very short it's only a script slash script so i'm gonna save that and hopefully it's gonna show up the customer service or customer chat icon so before i see that you have to go back to many chat click finish and then you see this below it says activate and check so you click that one Provide target page that has the current widget installed. So the target page is this, the home page. I'm going to copy that. Then start widget check. Ah, nakahide. Okay. So I'll go back to the settings. Kasi nahide ko siya. Which is weird. Check. Okay, so after clicking with widget check, everything is green. So that's when you will know that it's installed correctly. Let's go back to the website. Okay, so loading the site. So, tanawa guys, ni show up na ang pop up niya. This one. This is configured using ManyChat. Do you see this? Uh, so, na install na na siya. This is the final, what, well, uh, what it would look like after setting up. So, everything there was done via ManyChat. So, once you have that done, you can finish all of the items required here. Okay. All of these are screenshots that you finish the configuration. Alright. Any questions?